Leonardo DiCaprio has been collecting homes since his Titanic days. The star's extensive real estate portfolio is worth about $100 million today. But back in the day, he was buying some pretty cheap homes compared to the luxury he can afford now. Back when he was a fresh-faced heartthrob, DiCaprio bought a home in Los Angeles' Silver Lake neighborhood for just $769,500. The year was 1999 and he was just getting used to his newfound fame. The home was perfect for a young bachelor with four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and a large gated courtyard for privacy from the pesky paparazzi. The home also has a large pool and a Spanish-style kitchen and library as well as an elevator and a garage with room for three cars, which is perfect since the actor has three favorite vehicles that we'll go into detail about a little later. He actually sold the property back in 2018 for $1.7 million. We're sure that it being Leo's very first bachelor pad was at least part of the reason he made almost a million dollars from the sale. Leo's success in real estate only continues from there. In 1998, he dropped $1.6 million on a much fancier home, this one located on Billionaire's Beach in Malibu. The 1,765-square-foot home has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a sun deck overlooking the ocean, and a hot tub. Plus, this pad has gated entry as well, ensuring the star's privacy is respected. The home was listed in 2018 for an astonishing $10.95 million, but it's since been offered out as a private rental to DiCaprio's very rich friends. To put all that real estate money to good use, the movie star snatched up a fully renovated mansion in the Los Feliz neighborhood of Los Angeles for $4.91 million in 2018. This 1920s manor-style home sits behind thick hedges and trees and has five bedrooms and eight bathrooms, including two master suites. There's also an indoor and outdoor dining room, and of course, a hot tub and pool. Leo bought this home from musician and DJ Moby, who gave the traditional home a makeover and also installed a brand new updated kitchen and a steam room for a little R&R. &R. One of Leo's most interesting homes might just be this Studio City pad, which he listed in 2016 for $2.4 million. The 3,407-square-foot home was built in 1937 and offers classic California living with a modern touch. French doors open from the master bedroom and family room into the backyard, where there's a cozy lounge area and a gorgeous swimming pool. There's also plenty of greenery surrounding the home to give Leo that privacy he craves. The home also has tons of room for entertaining, with two living rooms, a bar, a dining room, and a huge kitchen. With four bedrooms and three bathrooms, it was reportedly one of DiCaprio's favorite spots for entertaining. Leo's also gotten into the rental market. He owns a massive Palm Springs home that he rents for about $4,500 a night. The 7,022-square-foot home has six bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms. Since Leo is a big fan of New York, he snatched up some apartments there he also rents. He has a luxurious apartment at Two River Terrace in Battery Park, an eco-friendly high-rise building. He bought his first unit there in 2008 for $3.67 million, and then a couple years later he snatched up the neighboring apartment for $8 million, with the possibility of him combining both units to form an epic New York City mega-apartment. Now for those cars he loves. In the 2000s, DiCaprio made headlines for reportedly driving a Toyota Prius, which only cost about $35,000 with all the upgrades. That's a pretty tame car for a superstar, but Leo doesn't care about fancy wheels. He cares about saving the environment, so he only chooses eco-friendly cars when he can help it. Another of DiCaprio's preferred vehicles is the Fisker Karma. The electric luxury sports sedan was only in production from 2011 to 2012, but the actor managed to get his hands on one for about $150,000. Since he loves electric, it's a given that Leo also got his hands on a Tesla. His Tesla Roadster cost about $200,000 and is one of his favorites. Since it's more energy efficient than a lot of its competitors, and it's also one of the quickest cars in the entire world, able to go from 0 to 60 in just 1.9 seconds. We have no idea if Leo has ever put this speed to a test, but we wouldn't put it past him. We know that Leonardo DiCaprio's crazy riches are mostly thanks to his acting career, but just how much is he getting paid per role? DiCaprio has been acting since he was just a kid. His very first film was actually a direct-to-DVD movie called Critters 3, in which aliens terrorize a city. But it wasn't until he starred as Robert De Niro's stepson in This Boy's Life and made a name for himself that the money really started to roll in. For his role as Jack in Titanic, DiCaprio was paid a base salary of just $2.5 million, but he also negotiated for a percentage of the film's revenue. It's estimated, thanks to his negotiation powers, that he made $40 million in total from the one movie after it became a smashing success. 
Since then, his rates have just gone up and up and up. Leo was paid $10 million to star in The Wolf of Wall Street, but he was paid even more for his 2016 Oscar-winning role in The Revenant. Thanks to the film and his other business ventures, he made about $29 million in total the year the film came out, making him the highest-paid Oscar nominee that year. That's some pretty impressive colleagues he had to beat to not only become an Oscar winner, but also the richest guy in the room. His latest flick, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, earned him about $15 million as a base salary for his role. But it's estimated that his average pay per movie nowadays is $20 million, so who knows how much the movie star will rake in for his next big project. Even with all these movie millions, DiCaprio never really rests. His extensive net worth also comes from investing in great companies, including many startups. In 2017, the environmental activist became an investor in the popular plant-based meat company Beyond Meat. He also invested in the mattress company Casper, a lab-grown diamond manufacturer, Diamond Foundry, and a recycling technology developer called Rubicon. He's also put some money into a company called Magnus, which describes itself as a Shazam for art. Sustainability is a huge factor in his investments, so he also owns stake in Runa Tea, a tea company promoting sustainable rainforest preservation, and Love the Wild, a company that makes sustainable meals. At this rate, the star is about to own stock in every sustainable company worth a dime. Recently, Leo has also made a significant commitment to the Los Angeles-based investment firm Struck Capital. The company has committed to building LA into a powerhouse for tech development, another project that DiCaprio has been publicly passionate about. Okay, so he's a millionaire with lots of money to blow, but thankfully Leo does care about the world around him, so he's invested a lot of his hard-earned cash into important charity projects. He started the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation in 1998, shortly after starring in Titanic. The foundation funds projects and hands out grants to support different organizations that commit to improving the Earth and making life better for all of its inhabitants. Leo also sits on the board of some pretty big organizations, including the World Wildlife Fund, the National Resources Defense Council, Global Green USA, and the International Fund for Animal Welfare. He's made many impassioned statements for people to take climate change seriously and has vowed to be one of the leading forces in improving our Earth and its natural resources. But with all Leo does for the world, he needs to sit back and enjoy some excessive luxury every once in a while, right? He actually purchased an island off the coast of Belize for $1.75 million a few years ago and is in the process of creating an eco-resort there called Blackador Cay, which is slated to open in 2020 or 2021. Of course, it's a luxury resort, so expect it to become a new eco-friendly favorite among the world's elite. When it comes to vacations, the star seems to like mega yachts just as much as he likes private islands. He's been spotted on plenty of super yachts over the years, like when he recently celebrated his girlfriend Camila Marone's 23rd birthday on the water with some famous friends. He also borrowed the fifth largest super yacht in the world. He chartered this mega yacht with his friends for the World Cup in 2018. The 482 Topaz is worth $678 million and is rumored to be one of the most extravagant yachts in the world. The yacht has eight deck levels and includes a cinema two bathtubs, air conditioning throughout, three swimming pools, a fitness hall, and even a conference room. As for jets, DiCaprio is an eco-warrior, so he's been critical for use of them in the past. However, in 2016, he used one to quickly fly 8,000 miles from France to New York and then back again to accept an award for, get this, climate change. He briefly received some bad press from the incident, but since then he's vowed to fly commercial and has been spotted doing so with his girlfriend, though they're definitely choosing first class over economy. With a $260 million fortune that's only destined to grow, Leonardo DiCaprio has the money to pretty much do whatever he wants, but by dedicating himself to reducing his carbon footprint, being sustainable, and caring about the environment, he's also trying to convince other mega-rich celebrities and citizens to do the same. Is it really possible for a superstar like Leo to ditch the jets and stick to a slightly more humble way of living for the good of the planet? He seems to be doing an okay job of it so far, and who knows what big eco-friendly project is next on the actor's list of ways he can use his money to change the world.